let's do this example which is an application of uh, differentiation okay the person is making a yo-yo move up and down vertically according to the equation s is equal to 36 t squared minus 135 t plus 100 where s is the height above the ground in centimeters and t is the time in seconds after the yo-yo leaves the holder's hand okay so let me write the equation so s which is which they're saying is defined as the height of yo-yo above the ground is defined by this function in terms of t so 56 t squared minus 135 t plus 100 now this equation applies only for one movement up and down of the yo-yo only what's the height of above the ground when the yo-yo was released so the question is s is let me read it again s is the height above the ground in centimeters of yo-yo so the question is when it was released your time should be what your time is zero when time is zero what is s that's the question so this is one skill that you need to develop when you read something try to make sense with respect to the equation that is given so let's put uh, zero in this equation so this is 56 times 56 times 0 squared minus 135 times 0 plus 100 so this is 0 this is 0 so your final answer is 100 so in other words it was 100 meters above the ground when it was released or in other words uh, it was in the holder's hand okay when the when the person who was moving the yo-yo released the uh, release the yo-yo it was 100 meters above the ground so the answer is 100 centimeters okay the next question is calculate the initial velocity so what's uh, the question is what is when t is zero again starting what's your velocity that's your question okay so s is given to be we have got this this is 56 t squared minus 135 t plus 100 so velocity as a function velocity is a gradient function velocity is change in distance over change in time so in terms of, in calculus we would call that ds by dt ds is a change in distance and dt is the change in time and this is the instantaneous velocity in physics you may have learned velocity is delta d by delta t where delta t delta d is the difference between the distance and delta t is the difference between the time okay whereas here this is an infinitesimally small change in distance and this is an infinitesimally small change in time so this implies so let me write this implies ds by dt differentiating this this with respect to time so this is drop the power down so there is 56 times 2 t to the power 1 minus 135 uh, this will drop power down so t to the power 0 and this is the derivative of this is 0 so ds by dt you can say ds by dt is equal to or the, that's your v v is ds by dt which is this is 112 t 112 t minus 135 so the question is what's the velocity initial velocity when time is zero so you can say v when time is equal to v is ds by dt when t is equal to zero so ds by dt when t is equal to zero that is easy you have to put this back in this equation which is 1 1 1 112 times 0 minus 135 so your velocity is minus so this is minus 135 meters per second or the in if you want to write this as a positive negative velocity means it's going down negative velocity means the yo-yo is going down when it is released okay that makes sense when it was released the yo-yo is going down and that's why you have a negative velocity okay question c at 
what time is the velocity zero? So this, of course, we need to read this properly. At what time is the velocity zero? So the question is, when is velocity zero? When is your velocity zero? So you've got the function of velocity. What's the velocity function? Which is 112 minus 35. 112 t. 112 t minus 135. 135. This is 135. So you have to set that equal to 0. This implies 0 is 112 t minus 135. So adding 135 to both sides, to so add 135 to this side, you have to add 135 to this side. This is a simple equation. So this is 135 is equal to 112. 112t and dividing both sides by 1, 1, 112 so that's 135 keeping make mistakes so this is 135 divided by 112 is equal to t we'll make this sense by using a graphic calculator so let's go to calculate 135 divided by 112 so i'll round this to 2 uh, or one decimal, one dp, so that's uh, after 1.2 seconds. This, this implies t is 1.2 seconds. So after 1.2 seconds, let's make sense of this. So let us graph, let us go back and graph this equation to make sense. So go to graph and already have got the equation sitting there. Okay, and you need to change the scale. I'm going from, say, 0 times 0 to 5 seconds. I'm going at a step of 0.2, and I know the height was 100. So I'll go from 0 to, say, 100 is 2, 100, and a scale of 10, <clears throat> and see how the graph looks like. So this is what the yo-yo is doing. At When time is 0, it's 100 meters above the ground. It comes down, so this is minimum. Okay. Even without uh, calculus, you can find g sol and the minimum. Can you see when it is one, when t is 1.2 seconds, it is 18.6 meters above the ground. Okay, so let me draw that. So what does that mean? Let's graph this. Say so this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. On your y-axis, so let me on x-axis, you are taking time, and this one you are taking s. So graph would look somewhat like this. This is the this is how the yo-yo is going. So this is 100 when time is zero. When time is zero, you got at a height of 100. When time is 1.2 seconds, this is 18. Point, this is how much? 18.6, isn't it? 18.6 meters. So after 1.18, this is 18.6 meters or centimeters, not meters, 18.6 centimeters, 18.6, okay, so at, so this is the lowest point, and there, your gradient, your velocity, or ds by dt, is equal to zero, at this point, your velocity is zero, here your velocity is negative, it's going coming down, it becomes zero, and now the velocity will become positive, okay, from here. So that's answer done. And last question, calculate. No, one more question is there. Calculate the maximum distance of the yo-yo from the holder's hand. Okay, so that is maximum distance of the from the holder's hand. So here we know you can say the lowest point, we just saw now, the lowest point, lowest point is, uh, lowest point is when t is equal to zero. Is when t is equal to zero, your s is how much? We just saw is 18.6. So we are saying this is, when it was released, this is 18.6 centimeters. So this height, this is 18.6. And this total height is 100, isn't it? The height from year to year this height, this total height is, so if the total height is 100, so 
this is 100 and this is 18.6 this would be this height would be 18 100 minus 18.6 100 minus 18.6 centimeters calculate the maximum distance of the yo-yo from the holder's hand okay so this is 100 uh, 100 minus 18.6 centimeters so the lowest point that the yo-yo reaches is 18.6 meters above the ground and the highest point that the yo-yo goes above the ground was 100 meters when it was released so here the answer would be 100 minus 18.6 centimeters so let's use a calculator so that is menu run 100 minus 18.6 so the lowest point it reaches is 81.4 centimeters this is 81.4 centimeters calculate the maximum distance of the yo-yo from the holder's hand so when when is when it is at the lowest point it is 18.4 so this is this much is 18.4 this is 18.4 centimeters above uh, the lowest point okay and finally how long how long does it take so let me scroll this up how long does it take for the yo-yo to return to the holders hand so basically it started at 100 yeah okay then once time was zero what is this time okay that's what they're asking you so at time zero it is at 100 so when does it come back okay so this is what they're asking what is this time so how will we solve this okay so here you have to find when is so let us write the equation so the question is s is equal to 100 okay s is equal to 100 what's the time what's the time so let's write the equation s is equal to first let us do it using algebra so this is 56 t squared minus 1 what's the equation minus 135 t minus 135 t plus 100 so let's put this 100 back in this equation so 100 is equal to 56 t squared minus 135 t plus 100 so let's take away 100 from both sides so if we take away 100 from this side you can take away 100 from this side so you got 0 is equal to 56 t squared minus 135 t so let us factor out t here so 0 is equal to you can factor out the t and you got 56 t minus 135 so now this is a simple quadratic equation you can say t is equal to 0 or t 56 t minus 135 is equal to 0 so now solving this so this is 56 t is equal to 135 so t is 135 divided by 56 135 divided by 56 so again get your calculator out 135 divided by 56 which is 2.42 or 2.4 seconds so after 2.4 seconds it is uh, back in the uh, in the hands of the holder okay so let's do it graphically so if you go to graph and type in the equation and I've got the equation sitting so there are two times when it is at a height so if you go G solve and you, and you find height or your X calc then Y is 100 okay so what are we asking the calculator what are the times when the when the when the height is 100 meters so that's at time 0 x is equal to 0 is time 0 and then you scroll this can you see this is 2.41 of 4 se after 2.4 seconds it has come back to the hands of the holder 